Hey guys, you've asked me about this Lazy Day natural hairstyle and I'm going to give you the deets. I'm also going to give you the rundown on how my hair is staying healthy and hydrated during the fall and winter months. So all the products I'm using today you all have seen before. They're all by Entwine Couture. The Hydrator, the Styler, the Aphrodisia 9 Leave-In, and the Argan Oil. New to the gang is over on the left, the mask. This one is a super thick conditioning treatment that's rich full of great ingredients to keep your hair hydrated during the fall and winter months I've been using it and I'm really enjoying the consistency of it already shampooed and semi detangled my hair I've done a slight conditioning but now I'm going to use this mask as an added conditioning treatment I'm going to make sure that I saturated my hair from root to tip now my hair is only damp because I like to receive the full benefits of this mask throughout my hair I don't want it to be runny I don't want it to be wet and with the thick consistency I know that it's going to coat every strand and keep it very very healthy. I then secure that section of hair with a larger twist just so that it doesn't get in my way. I simply repeat this process with each of the four sections of hair. I'm careful to saturate all parts of the hair including right down to the scalp and then I secure each section with the clip and I simply continue this process across the rest of my hair. So turn it up. Of special concentration is also the edges of my hair. I then gather the rest of the hair to the back and then I double baggy my hair with just some regular shower cap. I usually let this sit in my hair as long as I would like, but it's recommended from anywhere to 15 to 45 minutes. If you have a little more time, you can sit under your bonnet dryer or your steamer. But a lot of times I just take my satin line cap and hang out around the house for a few hours if I'd like and just keep it on there. It's no harm in it. Now after rinsing my hair off with cool water, I'm going to be using the Aphrodisia 9 leave-in and applying it to each section of my hair as I get ready to style it. I'll also be rubbing in a combination of the styler and the hydrator. I'll also be using my amazing flexi rods which come in different sizes and in fact I take advantage of that and use different sizes for my hairstyle. So I'm using a combination of the purple, the green, the red and I have links to my flexi rods down below in the info section. Next I take time to rub the hydrator into each section of the hair and now I'm just going to part the hair out with my fingers. You don't have to use a comb because there's no special technique here basically you're going to be messily flat twisting your hair it does not have to be even it does not have to be equal because it's not about you crafting the style I'm going to be using a little bit of the styler now in order to make sure I have a little bit of hold to the hair my hair is just a little bit damp and you might want to keep a spray bottle around just in case your hair starts to dry out but now that you have the product on you should be pretty good to go I make sure I rub it down the lengths of my hair before starting the twist and like I said, you're going to be making these twists messy. You're not looking to craft these twists for any lasting style. You're mainly trying to get a little bit of texture overnight. So keep that in mind. Don't be hard on yourself if the twists don't come out looking perfect because mine never do when I do this. Be careful to make sure that you twist to the ends of the hair. Now I'm taking one of my red flexi rods and I'm going to start from the bottom and roll all the way up to the top. I don't overlap in my roll, meaning that I allow each new piece of hair to try and touch a new piece of the roller. And now it's time to repeat this process. Each of the four sections are gonna break down into about three messy twists. Again, I'm mixing and matching those sizes to give the sizes of the curls a little bit more dimension. And I'm gonna keep my hair damp by using my spray bottle. And of course you're going to complete this process all the way until you're done with the last messy twist. And there you have it. And if you choose to, you can sleep with like a satin pillowcase. I'm going to put a link down below to one that's pretty good. Or you can wrap your hair with some satin. As well. If my hair is still a little damp in the morning, either because I worked out or because it's just still wet, then I go ahead and sit under my little Layla Ali bonnet dryer. Now taking the Entwine Argan Oil, I make sure that my hands are pretty coated in it so that I don't disturb the messy twisty curls 
that badly it doesn't matter if they frizz because again you're not trying to go for a super curly springy curl but you're going for a curl that just looks nice in a ponytail and it won't frizz too much so that's what it's gonna look like when you take it out of the flexi rods as you can see my hair looks pretty sheeny like very nice and kind of shiny actually my hair also feels very soft and I'm not experiencing the single strand knots as I'm pulling this hair down. Now, you want to do it slowly though. Don't go too fast. Go pretty slow. You want to keep that nice little flow of hair going. And you also don't want to cause any knots at the end of your hair. So be pretty gentle with your hair because you've twisted it all the way down to the ends. Now, even if your hair is medium to long length, it's going to look super short with this style just because you've twisted on wet hair but that's the greatness and the beauty of this style is the shrinkage but yet the hydrated hair is what makes this style look extremely beautiful I love the way my hair looks this way. now you're gonna take a knee high yes a knee high I find that these secure my hair the best without snagging it now that's what works for me use whatever works for you when pulling your hair up and you're gonna kind of use it as a pulley pull it around and just pop one little loop in it and then you fluff the hair to your desire keep working with it frizzy is okay with this hair taking a little bit of that hydrator and the styler I go ahead and craft myself some little curls on the edges also I take a baby's toothbrush and run around my edges no I'm not gelling them down because I want this to look a little lazy dayish just kind of fun nice not crafted just Frizzy looks pretty good. I like it. Now, I already know y'all was going to say, Nina, now how do you sleep on this? Now, I take the knee high out and I take satin strips and then I tie my hair up like I did with the knee high and then I kind of pineapple my hair. So, I do a makeshift pineapple. I take a larger handkerchief that's satin and put it around my edges and then I can sleep on my satin pillowcase. So, I'm just sliding all over the place, but my hair is still up. And in the morning, I like to, like, on the second or third day hair, I like to pull out a little bit of bang in the front and pull my hair up the same way you saw me do it before. I wanted to speak to y'all real quickly on my hair and stuff. My hair has gotten back healthier. It came out really bad. 2014, 2015. And I really had to nurse it back to health. It has really shown itself to be going back really don't care as long as it's healthy. My regimen was not gonna be anybody else's regimen. I had to really fill out my hair. I had to start dealing with the hard stuff that comes with my hair. It requires a lot more in terms of moisturization and also oil, also some kind of sealant to make sure that my hair stays hydrated. I love raw shea butter, especially in the cooler months. It makes sure that I keep moisture in longer. Also keeps the moisture base in your hair a little bit longer because it seals it in because it's so thick. But I keep a spray bottle of water around. So my hair does need some added moisture. I can just reach for the spray bottle and put it in. You can add yourself like a little bit of leave-in conditioner in here. When my hair needs a little bit more than water, I love Esker. Just love just. It's like taking activator and water together and then giving your hair just a little bit of a moisture boost. I also love these kind of head caps. I don't like the one that has elastic on the side because I find my hair gets dry and brittle. I buy the ones that have the little strap around the outside so it keeps your edges soft and smooth and keeps them from pulling out all of the moisture so it's not like raw cotton or elastic rubbing against the sides of your hair which also makes you lose your edges and pulls hydration out of the hair. Y'all I also love hats. One trick that I've learned, you can use that same handkerchief under these. I also invested in one of these Grace Elay. I think it's what it's called. And it's super cute on. It's a satin line cap. And I find that my hair if I want to just keep it out up under here or put it under a ponytail when I'm out and about or if I want to do this while I'm sleeping, then I find that it still keeps the hydration in because it's satin mine. 70% of the time my hair is twisted, braided, just to keep it from the element. Having type 4 hair for me means that my hair is just going to dry out more. It's medium porosity. I like to make sure that I keep my hair protected. I hope today has been great for you guys. Let me know some of the video ideas that you have for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.